Hello everyone, my name is Flareblitz here and welcome to UQ, I believe it's called. And uh, now, as you can see, this is a Yami Nikki fan game. And this was actually released quite recently in 2017, but beside the point, we're now going to, if we can, thank you, start the dream in itself. Translation made by Mike309. Yuki by that person. The translation might may be kind of wonky, but the important stuff is okay. Yep, thank you for that note. Uh, Yuki is made. Go give him the goodies, not me. Sleep flow. Start game. Bed. Dream. Get stuff. Arrow keys and everything that is universal. Well, no effect will set. You can save the game by interacting with the PC in your room. Carty. Loading sounds. Ooh, this is quite nice. So when I first looked at this game on the Yummy Nikki fan game wiki. Yum. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Oh, the effects are called buffers. Okay. Special. Pinch cheeks. Um, that only happens when we're in the dream. Headphones. Cool one. Head, blonde like hair, legs, cute shorts, feet, shoes, noisy ones. Yeah, that, that displays that sort of characteristic in the game that the shoes are noisy. So we've got Somnophobia. So basically we don't leave our room and the protagonist's name is Nari. I'm not trying to pronounce that name properly. Like most most names in life, I can't pronounce correctly unless I am given so otherwise. A Carti is a form of saving. I think this was in Japanese, but I wonder if it was translations to another language first before being translated into English. I don't know. Or maybe it has some relevance to do with the fact that it's a PC. Anyways, let's start dreaming. Three, two, one, descend. Yeah, yeah, I first looked at this game on Yummy, Yummy Nikki. Fat wiki. Fat. I've lost my plot now. Um, I first looked at this game. I think it was really, really nice looking. And then at first it was Japanese only. So yeah, wow, different zones it would seem. Ah, so what would be the ideal choice? Uh, don't we just sit down? We could go left to right, or we could just go from one, two, three, or four, and five. Maybe that will be the best option. Let's do that. Number one. And we descend into this darkness. Is somebody else in here with me? Do those definitely sound like footsteps? a hand there. Hello? Am I supposed to give you something? Curious. But what is that sound that's being made? Literally. God, this has some horror themes to it, most certainly. It's like LCD Dem. Lucid Dream. I had a lot of horror or negative aspects about it. And not negative as in like it's bad, ne negative as in like dark, gloomy, horrific. But where do we go from here? It's completely dark, but at least our characters and the surroundings aren't dark, it's just the background that's dark. Ah, oh, there's an eye there! Thank you. Uh, would you like to do that now, please? <laughs> now that I am on top of you, let us see if you can open the lid again. You just there to spook me. Only of these unique in their own way. Where is those? Where are those footsteps coming from? Um, I remember seeing my hand from earlier. Ah, we found somewhere which we can go now. That is all good in our books. So, that's pretty nice. I'll put you make a 2000 is a very ideal engine for Yummy Nikki fan games. Can you say the word yummy? Don't mean to. Yummy. 
Yuminiki. Yuminiki. Is this endless? Is this entire ordeal endless? I would like to say, but I am not surprised. Very. Where are we going from here? I think it was just that dark room only that that sandbag kicked in of our footsteps. No idea why it keeps repeating. When we sit down, it stops, but when we're on our feet, it's just always there, always there in our hearts and minds and dreams. And where the hell are we now? Are we going to be set sailing? Set road? Whatever you want to call it. However, one wants to call it. I'm not going to be impressed if there's nothing up ahead. I'm also not going to be impressed if this is just an endless loop. Because the one thing I don't like is endless loops. Are endless loops. Let's see what's over here. Before crossing over, let's just see what's over here. I'm not going the obvious path going over the bridge. I just want to see what's over here. If there is anything. Looks like a road. Is there something along this road? Oh, there's something on the road there, actually. Can't get to it. Is there something we can do? Oh, there's another thing here. What happened to this world? Uh, humanity has become extinct, and now the road has been becoming concaded by these plants. What exactly are these plants, though? This way up here is blocked, so the only route we can do is over the zebra crossing, which is very ideal. We can also go on the road as well, which is a bit weird. Usually, access to the road is naturally blocked on games because there would be cars on it, so therefore the player wouldn't make you go along there. So the developer won't make you go along there, but it doesn't matter either way. Uh, okay. Let's see what we can do. Anything go over here? Anything over here? No. Anything over here? No. Okay. Pass this. Oh yeah, that opens up. That's good. Let's see what's over here on this side first though. Okay, that's blocked off so we can't go over there. That's fine. I can't go down from there because that's obviously not the correct way to go. Boxes? No? No boxes. Warehouse. What's over here in the end? I'm glad it's just a single track. Ah, we light to the tunnel. Great. How did I end up here? Let's just go down here. I like the music and the sound on me and stuff. Hey, what's down here? What's with all these lovely lights for the green and blues and slightly violet ones? Okay, we just do a full circle there. Let's go this way instead then. More of them. Absolutely more of them. Where can we find these buffers? Which are like effects. I really would like one that allows me to go faster. I believe it's go kart, I think it's called in this game. The buffer which allows me to go faster. I bet. Can I interact with you in some way? What if I could get a weapon and then I'll be able to strike you down with all my might? <laughs> ah, there's another person here. How are you? You don't want to interact with me, that's fine, but I'm a lonely person. Actually, I am a creator of this dream. Without me, you would be non existent. As our dreams are. When you are within your own dream, 
You are essentially the creator of everything that consists within the dream. And therefore you have the potential to eliminate anything that could harm you in your own dream. But there could also be the circumstance where you are in a nightmare and therefore you can't control what's within it. Some other thing might be in control. Something dark and mysterious and something which may or may not have evil intentions controls the nightmare in itself. Okay. So far, oh, this looks pretty. This looks pretty distinctive, but how do we get in the middle? How do we get in the middle? How does one get in the middle? I. I think the only way I can get to the medal is by going somewhere which allows me to go to the water and then from the water go from there to here. We need to interact with that character in the middle there. I'd love to get at least a buffer in this episode, but if not, it's just going to have to wait till the next episode. There's still the concept of going over the bridge. Hi there, you seem new. Ah, oh, for goodness sakes, what is with all what is, what is with you all? What is with you all and your long bandy necks? Red, orange and yellow. Seems like a spectrum thing because most things in here are white, while other things correlate to the other colours of the rainbow. Blues are grouped together while reds are grouped on the other side. Or stuff that transitions from yellow to red. If I'm red it goes to sh a slightly violet but still mostly red. You're still here. You're still here doing very well. I really would like to go somewhere which is probably a different door. Hmm. There's a problem with these games. Well, part of the fun as well, but it could also be a problem depending on how you look at it, is the fact that you're just going around in circles some of the time. And when that happens, it feels like you've potentially wasted time when you could use it to, to do beneficial things. Well, this is beneficial in certain ways, but beneficial ways which allows you to gain something from it, not just the factor of exploring, but also an item in such fact. At the moment, I am not getting that much luck. Not that much luck at all. Yeah, there's nothing here that I can access at this point in time. And it doesn't look like that with anything on hand, we'll be able to explore otherwise inaccessible areas. So it could be the case where I need a weapon to be able to properly interact with those characters in there. But still, there was nothing in there which was quite disappointing. But maybe something in there, but there's something quite hidden and in the corner somewhere, but literally. When there's a loop like that, it becomes very difficult because the repeat process happens and you just literally go around in circles. You're very likely to go around in circles on maps which are designed to loop. Now that's like a setting in RPG Maker itself where you can make the maps have borders on them so that when you go up to a certain area the camera doesn't follow the character anymore. Like on this area for example, uh, the maps have borders on them so when you go close to the edge of the border the camera doesn't follow you and depending on where you're going you go into a new area. Hi there. You okay? You got bandages on your head. Looks like you suffered from an accident or something. But then again, it all perpetuates from the mind of the dreamer. Um, the currency is still within Japanese or Chinese, however, whichever language it is. I'm not. I'm not familiar with symbols, so that's why. Hey, doggy. You doggy. You got a ton out, so you must be a doggy. Can I help you, doggy? Can I feed you, doggy? Can I take you home, doggy? I just want a doggy. I have three doggies, actually. Really noisy, but they're lovely. 
Let the puppies. Oh dear, what's happened here? Are we all waiting up for something? If I stand there for a certain amount of time, will something special happen? I don't know. Oh, there's a store here. Can I go in the store? I... You take me all the way to this store and I can't go in it. Who the hell do you think you are? Okay, I'm going to walk my way. You're not going to have me or my zero yen. Is this... Okay, good. We're going to walk underneath the railway. I was a bit worried that that was blocking us. Because sometimes in uh, RPG Maker, by accident, the tires can be set to the wrong property, so we don't walk underneath it, we... Was that here before? Okay, what the hell is happening? I am looping around. Uh, where's the bridge I can go over? This particular area is... Looping. Like, literally, I am... Something I'm either stuck in a loop, or I just need to cross over the bridge again to get back to where I was. It looks like that is going to be the case, but I can't find the bridge. I would like to be able to... I am literally stuck in a loop. Where's the bridge? Like, there isn't a bridge along here. But, like, I think once you get off the bridge, and you're out of the way from the bridge, then there is just zero way of going through. And you're stuck within this perpetual loop. Oh, there's my doggy again, so that's all good. It's quite smart in a way, actually. Or maybe sometimes in RPG Maker you can make certain areas loop and other areas not loop. Something over there. Let's go this way. Let's see what's over this way. Maybe there's another loop and we're just going to encounter that doggy again. No, it's not a loop. We can go this way. Ooh, what's over here? A rocky maze of some sort. Notice board, notice board. All of these are notice boards, but it's either I don't have any writing on them or the game is not designed so that we can interact with it. Hello, kitty cat. Can I interact with you? Are you a bad omen? How to tell if your cat is plotting to kill you? There's actual books on Amazon specifically about how to tell if your cat is plotting to kill you. Or thinking of killing you, I don't know. But yeah, I I love all animals, but I'm more of a dog person than a cat person. Like dogs, they love you, they play with you, they give you cuddles, you give them cuddles and they lick you back. And cats, some of them can be really vile, nasty pieces of work. Like that washing machine there. And speaking of blood, sometimes cats can also bring in dead vermin into the house. So, what is the mystery behind this washing machine? What the heck? Well, I can tell now is that we are going to an area which we are not going to be able to return. A maze within a labyrinth of floating rocks. I'm looking for these, seeing what is up. Oh, there's somebody there in um, one, of the, one of the floating rocks. Is there a way to escape from here, though? That's the question. Surely there's got to be a way to escape. Oh, there's a green one. Okay, that's good. There is an end destination. Yay! There's another one which had a individ had an individual on it. Now I wonder if I have gone somewhere which I can't return. Can I return back to my world without needing to pinch my cheeks? I'll go down there. Okay, 
surely I'll be able to go down one more tile because that's the idea of a fence is that you can walk all the way up to it yeah there is definitely a square space down there where you can actually go down bucket get bucket nice we got ourselves a buffer item excellent interact with the roses okay it does look like we are trapped within this environment because there's literally absolutely no way of getting back well where a bucket that's very nice Hmm. I'm wondering why. So you may need that at some point. Probably against enemies of some sorts. Hmm. I'm sure about that one, but you know. Mysteries are always a very, very important part about these sort of games. Without the mystery behind it, you don't have a game. You don't have a, a question in mind. But I think that's where we're going to end it off today. Somophobia. I believe that is where you are unable to leave your room or something like that. But I need to look up the absolute definition of it before I can actually make any accusations about that. But there we go. Uh, TV. I'll leave you on. Nope, you refuse to leave. Hey, that's nice. Uh, certain items we can interact with. Sink. A sink by a bed. And there's a hard drive there as well. Go out to the balcony. This, this sky looks ominous. Nothing as well as that. Unless, I think, yeah, I'm thinking that is a rating actually. I was about to say, is it fixed to the ground? Because if it is fixed to the ground, then having the lower part is not ideal to be above the character. But as it is a rating that is attached to the, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, bricks or something, tiles. If it's not that case, then obviously then they would be placed in the same layer so that you don't collide in this way. Okay, so we're going to leave it off today, folks. Hope you're enjoying this. I actually quite like this Yummy Nikki fan, yum, yummy Nikki fan game. So thank you very much for watching, folks, and we shall see each other on the next time. Have a good day and take care of yourselves.